So this is always fun. If you live in the middle of the United States, the Midwest, Tornado Alley, you know what's up. This is a tornado that is on the ground right now, but obviously that is from a picture I found on Twitter. Plane just flying through the tornado. They've already rerouted five planes already. They turned them straight east. Oh wow. I guess that one doesn't care. <laughs> it's okay, Chanel. Chanel does not like the storm so far at all. I was thinking we're gonna have two because you've got a rotation over here. And a yeah? Right now. You have that wall cloud coming down right there. From there. And then you've got all this rotation right here. Yeah, this is crazy. So all ended up being okay here, but just an example of how quick these tornadoes form. This was probably 15 minutes away from us, and this was a gym with like 60 people inside. Everyone was okay, but just totally destroyed. They can form in an instant, so you really got to be careful, but we are okay, thankfully. So here is what I'm having for breakfast. I'm breaking my fast break fast breakfast right here. It's probably where the word comes from. But I've got two protein pancakes. I think this is 60 grams of my protein impact way. And if you guys want to get this, there's links in the description for a discount. Some of the best way. I've been working my way through this 11 pound bag of cinnamon roll flavor. And I'm getting ready to order some more today, so looking forward to that. I'll keep you updated on what I buy. And this is one cup of orange juice chest day today. So let's eat this, add some sugar-free syrup, and then get into the gym later today. What is going on, guys? It is Michael. I am back with some more commentary. And I will let you guys in on a little behind-the-scenes secret. Usually, when I do these commentaries right here, it takes me forever. It's a lot of editing, a lot of splicing. I mess up all of the time. Sometimes I get frustrated because I'll go back and listen to it, and then I will say something that's completely off, and then I'll have to go back and do it again. So what I'm going to go for right here is a classic one-take wonder. And before I get too far into the video and maybe off topic, just because I'm winging this right here, you guys are watching some push footage right here. And what I ended up doing in this training session was a five by three. Usually I don't work in that low of rep range with three reps, but this is 245 pounds. I'm trying it out. I'm still waiting on my program that Silent Mike and Omar are going to get me. So I'll keep you guys updated on when I get that. But that's the idea behind this. Just a five by three, 245, just kind of testing my strength. And right now it is Saturday and the weather is really nice. I don't know where you live obviously you might live in some place where it's still cold but it's starting to get nice here in the middle of the u.s and everything is easier when the weather is nice i think going to the gym is more fun walking to your car going to get groceries you name it so saturday i'm gonna go hit some pull right after i finish this but i've got to finish up the work so a little sumo deadlifts a little bit of biceps and then i'm also going to spend some time this weekend playing some more grand theft auto heist online i don't know if anyone plays that on here but i've been really enjoying that and then sunday to finish off the weekend we have the season finale of the walking dead and i've kind of got mixed thoughts on this season so far but overall pretty good and i completely forgot to mention this right here so at the start of the video those sirens that they play that is a tornado siren i always forget not everyone is from an area where there are tornadoes every single year and you do not take tornadoes lightly that's serious. Real talk right there. A life tip for me. My hometown was actually destroyed by a tornado almost four years ago. I'm from Joplin, Missouri, if anyone knows where that is. So I've seen the devastation and destruction those things cause. So every year since then, I'm always very careful and I look at the radar. But thankfully, the storm was not coming near, so I could go outside and film it. And it was really cool to look from a distance, obviously. And those clouds were moving around so fast. And Mother Nature... It's scary. It's scary what Mother Nature can do. But what you guys are seeing here is the lost art of occlusion training. And I might get a little hate for doing this. This was my second time trying it out. So one day I wasn't really feeling my biceps and I was like, why not just try occlusion training? 
the science is there behind it. I see people like Lane Norton do it from time to time. So I did it for biceps and that was the day before this, my pull day. And then my push day, I was like, why not try it for triceps again? And I'm not making a tourniquet with my wrist wrap right there. It's not even on that tight. It feels like someone is lightly grabbing my arm, but I could tell a difference. And the day after my biceps were very sore and triceps, it didn't work as much just because I don't know if I had it in the right spot, but I did like it. And I might do it from time to time on those stubborn body parts. My biceps, I think they're a little small and my triceps, I'd like to get my arms bigger. So if the science is there, I can try it, but I obviously don't wanna do anything that's detrimental. So that pretty much wraps up the commentary. Let me know if you like this informal style down below in the comments. And if you made it this far in the video, please take a second to give the video a like. I really thrive off of the comments and the likes. And I'm sure I can speak for a lot of other YouTubers. It's very motivating. And if you made it right here and you can hear me right now, comment if you like The Walking Dead or not. I wanna hear your thoughts, guys. Back from the gym, fast forward later into the day little Christmas right here for myself, except I ordered all this for myself. The first thing I opened off camera are these weird medicine-like capsules right here. And this is nose torque, so it's basically smelling salts packed. And I just smelled it and it was super potent. I'm trying to get Paige to smell it, but I don't think you're gonna smell it. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, that makes your eyes water. <laughs> so I did have the ammonia strips and she did those. Was this a little worse? Yeah. A little worse. Here is the latest edition. <laughs> As your eyes are still watering. Boom. Decided to up my squat shoes. I'm gonna try out the Romelios. These are the second Romelios 2 and just replace the Addy Powers. I've heard a lot of good things about the shoes and plus this is a pretty cool color right here. So shoes I wear an 11 and a half and I also it also comes with other soles. So I think one is like a training and the other one is powerlifting. I'm not sure. Just read it on the site. And I got some other stuff in here. There we go. Some socks, you can't go wrong with black socks. You never can have enough. So there we go. That wraps up the exciting packaging. <laughs> you still feeling okay? 